Good morning. Why are you whispering? I don't know. It's 7.54. We're back at the bins. When's the last time you went to the bins? Here? Mm-hmm. More than two months ago. Like before you went to Colorado in September? Yeah, like the end. I went to Colorado the first week of September, so I would say like the end of August was the last time I was here. Mm-hmm. Maybe the last week of August. Mm-hmm. So almost, so like two and a half months. And it's been since before the remix for me. Because I got that big batch of stuff from Jen. And then we just went to Colorado, so... But I photographed all 170 pieces that I picked up in Colorado already. I've already listed over 100 of them. So, i got to get back to it. It's time. It's time. It's Saturday. I have Let's all my hard goods listed. I'm all caught up on hard goods. All of my clothing from both Colorado hauls are... Uh, prepped and ready and either with my new lister or ready to give to my new lister. She started this week. It was week one. Um, we'll see how it goes. Yep. And uh, so, yeah, we're putting in some, if you, you guys need to watch our Sunday show to kind of hear more about what we're doing with our processes, processes, mm -hmm. processes. Um, but we're definitely changing things up, but we need to be uh, getting regular inventory and really keep it on top of that so we're not scrambling to get stuff when we need it to get hit our numbers and our goals and stuff like that. But definitely be watching our Sunday shows so you can follow what we're doing there and see how it affects our sales. All right. Let's see. Hopefully we find some good stuff. It is Saturday, mm. so the bins are full of kids on the weekends. Uh, True. You know, don't get me wrong. As annoying as I find it because, you know, kids, mm -hmm. uh, I do think it's kind of cool. I do think it's cool that teenage kids and middle school kids are coming to the bins to to look for like cool fits. Can you imagine if you were a parent how magical it would be that your kid wants to be up and out of the house so they can be at the Goodwill bins by eight in the morning and, and then the parents just and drop then they're them just off. and then they're just gone all day. You're like, here's twenty bucks for the day, and yeah. you'll find yourself some new clothes. And you're so not taking your parent, the kid to the mall. So your kids are like out of your hair. They're not sleeping until noon. And uh, they're somewhere safe where they're not getting into trouble, hopefully. And they're and they're buying cheap yep. clothes and saving stuff from the landfill. I think that's kind of cool. But for resellers like us, get out of your kids. Get, get out, out of my faces. Let's go. Okay, it's a little after nine, and uh, so we went in. Oh, that's Jesse right there. <laughs> So I went in. Here's the thing. There's always the battle. Like you run in and you're the, you're like, do I get a cart or do I not get a cart? You're like, should I look at stuff first? And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna get a cart. Went and put it over there. Went to the very last bin, and I seriously pulled a ridiculous amount of vintage Steelers. At the time, I saw like one Steeler shirt. I could see there were a bunch of vintage shirts. I grabbed them all, and I'll show you those later in the haul. But oh, it's very loud. But this guy. Unfortunately, I'm a Steelers fan. That guy's a Steelers fan. Unfortunately for who? Me or you? Me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, you know, usually I don't, I don't really, uh. Sell on the spot. No, like I was going to, I was going to say, usually I don't haggle too hard with you. No, no. But this time I was like, I really need some good stuff. Because she knew I wanted it. That's the well, thing. Well, no. It was for me, I don't so ever so tax no. you on things <laughs> like that. Anyway, so, uh, but he did get three of them. Plus, just a second here. He got three. This, so what shows now these are all gonna be for one. your personal, right? Yeah, I'm keeping all these. So, I might I might give this one to Austin, but I'm gonna So somebody either donated all their stuff or their mom threw out all their Steeler stuff. Cause yeah. seriously. But these are all like they're all like two XLs though. Like they're, Yeah, they're, they're good XL, sizes. But, yeah, so So you got three of those. Yeah. Plus, as you guys know, I'm single handedly uh, reigniting the market for Echo <laughs> Unlimited. Echo. Wait, <laughs> that was in here somewhere. Just kidding. Too. Yeah, oh it's it's hold on. I think it's the one I threw in the back. Yeah, we got this one too, because you know Jesse's got the store here in town. And what? How do the kids feel about the Echo uh, Unlimited? <laughs> They're eating you, it up. YouTube friendly. They're eating it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, not a bad day though. I just got this off of another seller. I'm very very excited about this. Oh, nice. So this and this is like a team issued one. So. I don't know what the heck this is worth, but I'm excited about that. Very, very so, cool. Good day overall. We're gonna go hit savers though because there's about a thousand people in the booth right now, so good luck. It is crazy in there, but I was able to negotiate with Jesse and for those three shirts and the one uh, sweater, I got $140 store credit at yesterday's fit. So I'll turn that into more pieces, probably some mids, because um, I need the volume. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we're there. And our five, ten, and twenty dollar racks are stacked. Yep. And don't forget, you can go to the website and use my code of boutique for him for twenty percent off oh, anything. Yeah. So. Oh, and uh, some little, what is that shameless promotion? Is that yeah. what people say? Uh, Black Friday sale and Cyber Monday. So all of you that are not in Vegas, Cyber Monday, fifty percent off the whole site. What so is that? Not this coming Monday, but next Monday. Okay, good. So it's like a little over a week. All right. So. Sounds good. Let's get back into the bins. Later. I think it's what, like a little after 10? A little after 10? Yep. About 10 o'clock? How'd you do overall? I did pretty good. I got a couple of high-end brands that I actually had time to look up that I didn't recognize, so I did okay. Um, seriously, today might have ruined me for the bins for a while because I was finding, beyond just my big uh, Steelers find, I was finding cool vintage left and right. I didn't want to leave, but we got stuff to do today. But that's mine right there. It cost me $47, and it is jam-packed with goodness. Vicky found this for me. This will go in my office. Look how cute he is. He just wants to suck your blood. <laughs> My goodness, I'm, I was getting, uh, speaking of dopamine hits last uh, week, I was getting dopamine hits left and right finding so much good stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a good freaking day at the bins. This is what was missing in Colorado because they were doing such shallow bins. Here, it's like they pile them up. And I was finding so much stuff way after they'd already been gone through by other people and finding good vintage, cool t-shirts. Um, I'm excited to, to do our little haul. But... Yeah, it was, it was really good in there. I was enjoying it. Plus, I talked to somebody about some potential wholesaling opportunities. Because um, if we're going to, you know, at least for me, if I'm going to keep moving forward with kind of how I'm changing my, my business and how I'm listing, I need a, a steady flow of stuff. And, you know, not every day is going to be like it was today at the bins. So you got to have multiple kind of streams coming in mm -hmm. of inventory. But overall, I'm happy. What are we doing next? Coffee coffee we haven't been to the bins with vicky hasn't been to the bins in so long here it's been a real long time since we uh hit the coffee after it's the bins, been so. months since i've had Dutch months Brothers. and months and months all right let's go get some coffee and then we've got other errands to run okay. Okay. Going on back here. i guess well, it's kind of fall halloween fall. combined yeah it comes down next week yeah it's thanksgiving week and then the day after thanksgiving well, you're gonna torture me all for, hell breaks loose for a week for at least mm -hmm. i think we can do it in three days this time personally because mm -hmm. last year it took longer because we were in a new house mm -hmm. we'd never like you didn't have like a routine of where you put things we had to figure stuff out mm -hmm. <laughs> she's a believer. you're very hopeful i am anyway so we're actually filming this on what's today sunday mm -hmm. uh but we're gonna be i'm gonna be showing right now i'm gonna be showing all the stuff that i found yesterday saturday we talked about it like the beginning of this video is gonna be us you know me and my really good haul and stuff you didn't get as many great items, so you kind of had a mixture of some of the stuff you got yesterday. And some I got in Colorado. And some you got in Colorado. So, but obviously we'll tell you the difference. So, uh, But I'm just going to show stuff that I got at the bins Saturday morning because it was such a freaking good day for me. And I want to show all the, not all of it, but the good stuff. All right. All right. Okay. So what do you got? Why don't you start? You want me to start? Okay. Yeah. Well, this is one that actually Katie grabbed for me at the bins yesterday. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but you know what? I feel like there's a market for everything and everyone. Uh, I will. This is handmade. I would hope so. Yeah. So it's a handmade corset. And it has Smurfette on it. It has like a 3D Smurfette. It's made out of like this. The Smurfette is felt. And the corset is white and stretch. And it has the, uh, it has boning. It's light boning. And then it has like the blue uh, little things in the back. So I'm just going to grab some like white ribbon to create the corset part on the back. And, you know, I don't know, somebody quirky and weird will like it. It probably costs like less than a dollar. It's very yeah. lightweight. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to list it for, right? I mean, I, I love the weird stuff. So I showed it to Jesse and he was like, yeah, that's way out of my wheelhouse. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably <laughs> list it for like 50, 60 bucks. You never know. You what, you can't know. cop that? No, no, I cannot. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to save my uh, Steelers haul for the end. You saw the first three t-shirts that I did trade to Jesse for in-store credit. Um, but I was finding all kinds of really interesting, cool, weird, different uh, vintage stuff. And this first one, it's super tiny. Uh, it's on a Hanes tag. 
course it's single stitch all around it's a small and so of course it's really a small uh, but this is nevada energy education programs and this is the graphic i have like a little atom on it i think it's cool i mean science nerds right yeah i feel like i can get like 40 bucks for it and it's super tiny and light this is probably less than eight ounces so uh it's maybe like six ounces so it's going to be definitely less than a dollar that i paid for it so right it probably costs you like 75 cents i think it's cool uh so these i found in colorado these actually came from the bins and they are vintage fredericks of hollywood so vintage like these are probably late 70s to early 80s they're made in the usa and they are these fantastic stretch these like lurex stretch like cigarette pants they call them so they're kind of like a high waist with no pockets, zipper up the back, right at the butt crack. And they're like these fantastic leopard print. They're very like um, Sandy from Greece. Ooh. Like I love them. At the so, end anyway. Yeah, when she's bad. When she gets, when the, you know, because the lesson of the corrupted. story is that you got to be horny to get your boyfriend to like you. I mean, well, you know, that's used to be the way it was. So anyway, I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I probably paid like a dollar for them. I got them in Colorado. I'm going to list them. I'll probably start them high, like around 125 and I would accept anywhere 75 and up. They will probably sell on Etsy. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. All right. This one, I did not show this one to Vicki. Uh, this is actually a Gap sweatshirt. Ooh. Let's see. Gap. You know why? Because I probably would have tried to steal that one. Yeah, for sure you would have. Uh, Gap. It's super distressed. You can see, like, especially the collar where That's it's like the, the separated kind of layer. I like. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually say Gap on the front of it, but it says World Classic Sport, and it's just this big, kind of oversized, heavy sweatshirt. That's fun. Bright I like pink. That. I think it's really cool. Super frayed, even on the bottom, too. Like the bottom ribbed. Cough part. Oh, mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it too. Um, I mean, I'll probably price it at like 70 and hope to get like at least 50 for it. And... You know my favorite sweatshirt that I wear around the house when I want to bum around is a Gap sweatshirt from the 90s. What are you trying that's to say? That's falling apart. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying. I love like I'm trying to steal it. it. Yeah. I, I may. If it disappears. <laughs> oh, we know what happened. Now. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is also from the bins in Colorado. Uh, this is a handmade wool uh, skirt and it is a maxi skirt so if you get closer you can kind of see it's got this great pin tucking around the top um, I think this is very I couldn't tell you how old it is to be quite honest with you by the construction there's no tags uh, by the construction I would say this is like 60s maybe earlier there's not even any zippers this may actually be earlier than that um, there's some heavy uh, like metal snaps but this looks newer to me, the elastic that was put in at a later date or this binding that was put in at mm -hmm. a later date. So the skirt itself might be older. It looks ceremonial to me. I'm going to have to do some Googling on it. It looks like maybe it's part of like a ceremonial, uh, some type of ethnic dress. Clothing wise, its colors are like, you know, red and green and yellow. So like Poland maybe, but um, you're going to want to wear a slip under that. It's oh yeah. It's going to scratch scratchy. your legs. Very scratchy, 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 mm -hmm. but um, it's very cool. So I'm going to do some investigation on it. Like if we look at the pattern up close, you can see the reds and the yellow and the green stripe. And then this kind of like uh, checkerboard looking one almost. So I got to do a little bit of research on it. I really like it. You can tell it's quality and that was what drew me to it. So Pricing, I don't know. Depends on what it is. If it, if I can't find it to be anything specific, probably like seventy five dollars. There you go. Um, all right. Next up, I've got uh, this nineties penguins. Penguins is that? Are they Pittsburgh? They're Pittsburgh penguins. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, Pittsburgh penguins. Look at me with the sportsing knowledge. What? So this is definitely from the same collection that I got all the uh, Steelers tees from. Hello, uh, apparently this guy either died or his wife or his mom got rid of all of his t-shirts. Uh, I just can't imagine that uh, somebody who had this collection would have just like tossed it away at Goodwill. Uh, but this is like nice and worn. It's on the Apex One tag. Um, it's got a nice, it, and the great thing about these t-shirts, I'll show you the rest later, is that they're all like bigger sizes. This, this is an XL. It definitely measures like an XL. Um, it is single stitch all around. 
Uh, I don't know what penguin stuff goes for these days, but I'll at least There's hear. not as much of it as there is. Um, yeah, I like the hockey stuff. I love finding the hockey stuff. But uh, I'll get at least 50 bucks for it, it's even with a little bit of the distressing. There's a little yellowing on the collar that I'm going to have to clean up, but it's awesome. I love finding the cool. hockey stuff. Uh, this was Colorado also. This is from the bins. There's a little bit of soil inside. I'm not even going to attempt to try to clean these, but it's vintage uh, wool and made in it's a women's medium i'm trying to figure out where it says it's made i'm not entirely sure to be honest with you but it's hilda ltd whatever that is but it's vintage 70s it's a hooded wool uh like fair isle jacket sweater type thing it's really nice and it's fully lined in acetate um this belt is weird how it's like yeah it's got a belt inside that you can either like belt it in the back or tie it around the front so what the previous owner had it like this uh it definitely is very pilly but i'm actually probably not going to do anything about that uh it's not really worth doing that but this is something that i'll list for at least 100. i mean it's pretty heavy i probably paid five bucks for it very very cool all right guys Vicky gave me this one. I just had to show it because, I mean, come on, Echo Unlimited. Now, this is a smaller one, um, but uh, it's in good condition. I'll probably try to get, like, 50. I'll probably price it at, like, 70, hope to get 50. Um, it is a smaller hoodie, but it's a nice zip-up hoodie. Um, it's brown and orange, and you saw that I traded that sweater to, to Jesse. So, I keep finding Echo Unlimited stuff. I did let go of a pair of sweatpants that I found today, but uh, this should do, you know, this should be a decent little flip. I mean, it's a little bit heavier, so I probably paid like three bucks for it. And it's it. small. Like, yeah, it's a it's size medium, but it is like a smaller size, so. All right. Uh, this, this is something I got from our pick at Alex's house. It's probably 70s based on the tag, uh, but this is just a vintage Aztec, uh, like, shawl collar sweater. I feel like you've had this exact same one before. Uh, very similar. The orange. Very similar. Uh, not the exact one, but very similar. So this is one. It's open front. There's no buttons. Uh, so it's definitely like a unisex. I will list it as a men's, probably like a medium size here. And I paid, I think, 30 or $40 for this because I did pay around 30 or 40 a piece for the next couple. Uh, and again, this will be listed pretty high. That's it, really awesome. It has a couple of little pills, little but shaving. it needs this one I probably will shave it. It needs a little shaving. Yeah, I think it'll make a big difference. So uh, again, this is probably one that I'll price around my price point of like 129 or 149. I should get at least a hundred for it. Um not a huge markup, but I love having these type of things in my store, kind of like Katie. Um I'll pay up to have good quality items even if I'm not going to make a huge profit on it. But even like a fifty or sixty dollar yeah. profit is good. So having having like really good key pieces elevates your store overall. I agree. All right. Next up for me, so I was finding all kinds of great stuff yesterday, and then I also found a couple of really cool pieces that like somebody else had grabbed and then tossed aside. And I actually, when I showed this to Jesse, he he was like, he was like, somebody threw that back, and so he was as shocked as I was, shocked as shocked. Uh, this is on the jerseys tag. This is vintage Y2K. Um, it's in really good condition. It does need either washed or at least um, I need to take the, yeah, delint to take the roller to it. But this is an awesome Christmas Grinch sweatshirt. Huge. But too. it says, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, but then it has the presidential election ballot box. And you can see Bush and Gore are both crossed out and Grinch is uh, checked. That's so funny. not only is this funny as like a vintage piece, but I mean, come on, with it's a little humor to some of the stuff going on over the past few years. Um, but it's a really nice... The Grinch is stuff in the ballot box. Yep, stuff in the ballot box, that bastard. Anyway, uh, happy holidays from the Grinch. So I thought that was really fun. And of course, I want to get all Christmas stuff up as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So this is another one that came from Alex as well. So again, I paid $30 to $40 for this. This is vintage, also late 70s Love it. to early 80s, uh, made in Taiwan, ROC. So that tells you that changed like 83, 84-ish. So uh, that means that it's late 70s, early 80s. So shawl collar, and it has like, um, again, kind of like a Peruvian print mm -hmm. to it a bit. It doesn't, it's not alpaca, but it kind of looks like it has alpacas on it or reindeer or whatever the heck you want to call them at this point. Um, this is just a, a acrylic sweater. So uh, again, same thing. I'll probably price this the same as the other one. It's got the grandpa shawl collar and the big pockets in the front. I love it. Uh, no buttons. 
uh, but uh, you know, I'll probably price again around 150 or so and hope to get about 100. Very good, very good. All right, next for me, guys, um, I don't think this, these are going quite, the sell-through rate on this is not quite as crazy as the pants, uh, but South Pole t-shirt, and I looked these up, and I think I could still get like 50 bucks for this. It's just a basic like South Pole shirt that's got like kind of this puffy, weird get print some going on. Marks on the pits there. Oh, yeah, I got to wash it. Uh, but it's a nice big size. And let me tell you, the kids, the youths, they're going crazy for all this stuff. I, it's ridiculous. South Pole, academics, all that stuff that was Roku. I, I don't know about Roku yet, but Fat Farm, all that stuff that was big in the I don't understand. late 90s, early But anyway, this 2000s. is like um, late 90s, white, early Y2K. Well, it says 91. That's just when it was established. Oh, okay. Um, it's a lie. Don't listen to it. Anyway. But yeah. Right. It's a wicked lie. It's a wicked lie. Uh, this I did pay $45 for. This is a vintage Sears Montgomery Ward, uh, probably 60s, early 70s. I don't think it's much older than that. I have to look up the, the tag, but that had that tag for quite a while. Uh, buffalo plaid, nice. wool, hunting jacket, no damage to it. It is quilted and lined, really nice. This big, big, heavy, heavy metal zipper, uh, the big talon zipper, which is a nice sign of quality. This I'm probably going to list for like $250. Ooh. And I paid, like I said, I paid like $40, $45 for this. Also came from Alex in Colorado. Um, love it. These are the type of things that you want to get listed now. It's definitely in season. Yep. And yeah, can't miss with that kind of stuff. Okay, so this is one that I grabbed. It was from a bin that had been out forever. It had obviously been picked over and left behind. Not only that, it also has a Goodwill tag on it. Um, the Goodwill tag is from the end of October. Uh, so I don't know how often they like kind of turn things over. But it also says it was also put in the women's section. So, you know, I always say like when I'm at um, a thrift store, I'll go check out the women's section. Because a lot of times like t-shirts and cool vintage stuff gets put there. The tag, there's just a little piece of it there, but this is definitely based on the style and what I can see of the tag. This is a 70s t-shirt, but That's look at- cool ringer tee. Yeah, look at how cool it is. It just says Aruba on it over Aruba, and over. Aruba, Jamaica. Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take you. Okay. Ooh, that's, look at the sleeve though, the top of the sleeve Yeah, cool. it's got a really interesting, it's it's like a ringer tee, but it's got like a stripe like going a down the sleeve. stripe on the top of the sleeve too. Um, this looks practically brand new. It's very soft. Very, very soft. And like apparently this thing gets sold, sold in the store and nobody wanted it at the uh, at the bins. And it's actually like a pretty big size. That's like a large at Like least. for being a 70s shirt, it's a, it's not super tiny. So um, I don't know. I feel like I can get at least 50 bucks for it. I know these aren't as huge of prices as some of these. Like you're showing some really crazy stuff like it's going to go. But I paid up. I paid up for these. That's so. true. You did. Whereas this cost me less than a dollar. Um, okay, this is also from Alex. This is my last thing that I purchased from Alex. I've shown Ooh. everything else. This I did pay $35 for. So this is a vintage early 80s Eddie Bauer on that gold tag made in the USA. And this is also a awesome. Southwest wool jacket. Now this one is women's, so it will probably sit a little bit longer than it would if it were a man's. Uh, but it's really cool. Again, the shawl collar, the deep front pockets, the big uh, silver tone like buttons. It's a pretty cool jacket. It's all wool. Um, I haven't comped it. There may be, it may be like a big demand. Some of these, like if this were uh, Ralph Lauren, it would be like 400 bucks. Not that, but I, I think I can get at least a hundred for it. Yeah, for sure. And it just, it's just a really cool, it's got the cuffed sleeves. I don't know. It's really nice. Uh, and again, uh, this really needs to be dry cleaned by the new owner, but, um, I'm not going to do it. So I'm not going to do it. No. All right, next up, uh, I saw one of the one of the youths, one of the kids, pick this up and show it to his friend and kind of laugh. And I was like, yoink, I'll take it. Uh, this is oh, just I a cool Western corduroy blazer. You can see it's got the, what do you call those again? Uh, like yoke. It's yoke. a yoke. So it's got it's the yoke. You can see it in the back. In the it's got the double yoke. And uh, the tag is, it says Shepler's, the world's largest oh, yeah, Western good. store yep. and catalog. And it also has the leather suede pa elbow patches. The elbow patches, yeah. And it has the leather woven buttons. So that yep. tells you right there that it's late 70s, early 80s. Yep. And it's in great condition. So I definitely I have like to I like 100 that. bucks for those at least. 
yeah, this one's like, it's really cool corduroy, um, and it's like kind of a cool blue color, so there you go. I got something I can get a hundred bucks for, guys. You did. <laughs> So this is something that I actually really like and, and may have kept for myself and may still like wear it and then sell it. But uh, this is a brand that I was not familiar with. I just grabbed it because it was pretty and I could tell that it was silk. Uh, it's actually rayon, I'm lying. Uh, it just feels like silk. But this brand is a, a, it's a plus size fashion brand. This is vintage. I don't know how old, but probably 90s-ish. I got this in Colorado at the ARC store. I do believe this was 50% off, so I think I paid $3.50 for it. Nice. But I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's this it's this crinkled, long kind of duster in burgundy with these really pretty, like, uh, I don't know, like draped front and this, this, you know, designs on the shoulders. I don't know. It's really, really nice. It is really pretty. So it's, um, it looks like something I would wear. I may. I may wear it. I don't know. Do it. But I think I can get like 75 bucks for it. And I paid like four. It's just really pretty. It's a Very 1X, nice. which I mean, I'm a large to an extra large. And this is a jacket type thing. So it'll be a little oversized. I like it. Very nice. All right. Next up, I have this. I, I know you guys, I showed you guys the uh, North Face jacket that Yuri had, had given me um, last week. And this is another one. Now, this is really dirty, but I think all of this will clean out. It's just like, it's just pretty dirty, though. Uh, it's definitely worn. You can see where it says North Face on, on the sleeve. That's all crackly. Uh, but otherwise, it's in good condition. It just needs to be washed very badly. Now, it does not have the zip out lining, so it's not going to be um, as warm. But a lot of people, you know, when you're going like skiing and snowboarding and stuff like that, you actually get pretty hot. So if you're wearing like a, lot a of sweater. just wear sweaters. Yeah. Yeah. And you just have this to protect you from like anything wet. Um, it is Gore-Tex. And you can see on the tag, it is made in the USA. And so uh, I would hope I'd be able to get, if I can wash it and like all the, get all the filth off of it and it looks a lot better, um, I think I should be able to get at least a hundred dollars for it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what's up with the North Face, but apparently... Yuri started something, and I was able to find that at the bins. Yeah, that's really filthy. It needs to be washed. Yeah, I can, you can tell big by time. It feels dirty. Yep. Okay, so this is not a brand that I was familiar with. I did pay up for this. I paid twelve ninety nine for this at Arc in Colorado last week uh, or two weeks ago. Uh, but it is a sweater made in Norway. I haven't even looked this brand up, but it feels a lot like Dale of Norway, which mm -hmm. is why I grabbed it. It's super heavy, Icelandic type of you know fair isle sweater it's beautiful it's very heavyweight really really well made and it's at least a large there's no i don't think there's any size on this it's wool uh that's actually the piece that i had thrifted and i gave it to you um to make amends for yelling at you for stealing. oh is that why because i bought for, quite a few of these i just didn't buy this brand it was that one it was for for trying to steal my dopamine hits it looks like it like a men's extra large ish mm -hmm. Uh, it's very beautiful, nice quality. I would expect that this is probably, again, I didn't look it up. The brand is probably just as good as Dale of Norway, even though I've never heard of it. Uh, quality wise and construction wise, it's beautiful. So I, I intend to list this for like 150. There you go, guys. Um, uh, okay. I'm going to show you one last thing before I get to my, my, my stack of stealers that I'm just going to show all at once, but I'm going to show you this first. This is just one I found that I am going to take into, uh, Buffalo Exchange, but it made me laugh. I thought you guys would appreciate it. It's too small for me. It's a size small. At my best, I wear a medium. Right now, I'm wearing a large. Um, Vicky said that's good because I couldn't wear it anyway, which I say, how dare you? I would totally have worn this if it was my size. But it's just funny. Not vintage. Just a Halloween shirt. And uh, you can see uh, Michael Myers there. And it says, a freak in the sheets. Killer on the streets. Pretty awesome. I love it. It makes me laugh. And that's going to be going to the old Buffalo Exchange. Don't you love it? Come on. You know you love it. It's a little goofy. <laughs> um, so I got this in Colorado. Our very first stop at the bins when we went to meet up with Yuri and Angelisa. I saw this out of the corner of my eye as I walked in and I yoinked it as I was walking over to say hi, which is pretty funny. But it had been sitting there for a bit. This is a vintage 60s or 70s. It has a big metal zipper up the back. Uh, so a nice metal zipper in the back, but this is, you know how I talked about it in my last thing, those Peruvian alpaca, this is an alpaca like blanket skirt and it's got the, um, 
you know, it's got the like the tassels on the end. It's just really, really cool. There is a repair on the back that someone did and probably not that great. However, I think when this is on somebody, you're not really gonna be able to see it and it won't matter. It's just this great maxi skirt. It could have been made out of a alpaca blanket. I don't know. I it's don't cool. care. It's pretty cool. It's very uh, boho and it's soft and fuzzy. And Ooh. yeah, so again, another item I'll list in my in my store, you know, upwards of $100 and who knows, I will take, you know, whatever. I think I paid four or $5 for it based on weight. All right. So yeah, that's my, that's my stuff. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys, seriously. So I, as you saw, I gave Jesse three pieces. Um, I got a total of 12 Steelers pieces. And seriously, it was just like, I saw one and then I realized there were a bunch that looked like they might be vintage and I just grabbed them all up because I didn't want to waste time looking at them and then threw them in my cart and looked at them later. But this is all like just really great stuff. So this is on a Lee tag. Um, this one is double stitch, but it is from, what's the date on it? 2000. So definitely vintage. Um, and this has like the whole like uh, Steelers achievements on the back. And again, this is, all of these are like extra large. So they're like great sizes. Uh, I've got this one from 1995 and this is our starter tag. And this is uh, the, it's a championship, like a American conference um, championship. And Again, extra large, but starters. They're all in really nice shape. They're yep. not even worn out. They're like somebody bought this, wore it a couple times, and stuck it in their drawer and collected. Well, and this one is, um, it's it's a starter. They tend to run a little bit larger, so I bet it probably actually measures as like a 2X, uh, but just a really, really great shirt. Next up, I've got, this is another, this might be a starter too. Yep, it is a starter too. Is that the same? Nope, different, different design. 1995. But same year. And... Uh, and yeah, this is, these champions. are freaking awesome. I don't know what Steeler stuff goes for, but I mean, at the very minimum, they're going to be like 50 bucks. I'll probably price them at like 70. This one I'll price up. This is another starter one, but I've seen comps for this going like at 75, 80 bucks uh, minimum. So I'll probably price this at 100. And it's Again, a big size. it's starter, but it's got this kind of funky Steelers. The Steelers 1933. It's got a really interesting graphic on it. 1994. Uh, it is single stitch, of course, and like I said, I was able to see comps, like I'll probably price it to like 100 and hope to get 75 at least. Next up, this is not vintage, uh, well, it's, it's 2006, um, but it's just a Steelers on a Delta tag, and it's got kind of their um, stats for that year. Super Bowl champions. Yeah, this is for the Super Bowl, so that one's in really good condition. Next up, we've got, this is on the trench tag. Um, and again, XL, nice big size. This one's got a little more fading to it. Um, this is 1992. He liked this one. Whoever had this one, he wore it more. Yeah, and he wore it a lot more. Uh, nice graphic, nice even fade. This is one of the few that, uh, I think I just had a couple of black, a lot of the white, the more white or gray. Uh, I just got two more here. This is another starter, and this is from 1994. So a lot of really great starter uh, brands. That's cool. But really, really great graphic. Again, nice big size. Most of these, I probably put them down as a 2XL, but then put in the condition description, I'll say oversized fit. I'll just, I usually size them whatever they measure as. Um, and then this last one, when I pulled this one, I mean, I was, because I was going through them and Jesse was seeing them as I was seeing them too. And I'm like, yeah, this one I'm definitely not trading. I want to, I want to be able to sell this one. That's a great. This shirt. is like, it's like long sleeve. It's a little thicker. It's almost like it's still a t-shirt, but it's a little bit thicker. And it's like got these long sleeves. And this is dated 1991, um, but it's got like all this really cool stuff on it. So this, so this says like Super Bowl 10. It's like all the stats and stuff from uh, the. This is 1975, even though this is a 1991 shirt. It's a um, 75 team. But it's got, yeah, they're world champions. It's got the whole team on them. I haven't done any research into this. I don't know what the comps are for it. Uh, but I would imagine this has got to be uh, worth a decent amount. When I did do, I, I just basically looked at vintage Steelers t-shirts. And uh, I looked in Terapeak and stuff. I didn't see this one. So I don't know. It might be like a more rare one. It's really super worn. Um, it looks like it'd be almost like a jersey. It's like a jersey style yeah. on a t-shirt. Exactly, exactly. Like the sleeves are not quite long sleeves. They're almost like three-quarter sleeves like you'd have on a, on a jersey. Yeah. But I'm going to see if I can actually find the same one. 
Um, I'm going to say off the bat, like I would be able to get at least a hundred. Maybe I'll price it for a, a way more. But you know, I, whenever I tell you guys these prices, this is just what I think off the top of my head usually. Right. Um, like for example, last week I was super excited about that Ruger jacket. And then I was like, I'm going to price it like $200 and all this stuff. Then when I went to actually research and I was actually listing it, there were a lot more out there than I thought. And people were pricing, like somebody sold one for like $14 or something like that. Oh. And I was like, why? Why? Um, it That's is what depressing. it is. It's what people will, will pay for it. So I did end up pricing it at like $100. And I hope that I'll sell it like on Etsy for like $80, $90. But it definitely uh, made me a little sad. It harshed sad. your mellow. It harshed my mellow big time because that was like my favorite piece from last week. And now it's dead to me. Um, but whatever. So again, I sometimes I say crazy numbers and I'm full of shit. That's all I have to say. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I mean, Fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, as we know, I make up most of my prices, so it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, guys, we're going to go and stay tuned. In a couple of days, we'll put up our next video, which we're going to film right now. So you'll see us wearing the exact same clothes because we refuse to do costume changes. What do you think? All right, let's do it. All right. See you guys. Bye. Bye.